Hi, welcome back to my channel. Here's Volodymyr Kotansky and let's continue building the business management system. To quickly recap, on the last episode, we've been through the whole workflow. We even created the communication structure. And in this episode, we will see how WorkLayer can help generate invoice automatically based on the quote we have created. Intrigued, stay tuned and see you next. So last time we have created landing page milestone here. You can see it in the Yachttuber project. And um, to create the invoice, I need to navigate to finance on the top. And here you will see three tabs, invoicing, expenses, and bills. So uh, bills is the um, invoices that being sent by the contractors to your organization. Expenses, just the custom expenses. We are not using it right now. And invoicing, this is our place where we wanna create the invoice to our client. When you click new invoice, you will quickly realize that organization settings not filled. So let's fix that. After clicking this button, I ended up on the organization settings profile page. And here I just want to make sure we have all of the information like address, tax number, um, phone number is optional as well as website URL and email as well. Now we will proceed to the credentials page as credentials top here of the organization settings uh, will be used for the system to generate the invoice. Let's pick some um, data here so we can then validate it inside the invoice. So I'm going to select the New York City, uh, the state of New York. Address line is Bank Street 1, Unit 400. And if you remember, let me save this. If you remember in the profile, you've seen similar um, properties like address and tax number. This is uh, something it might be different like the uh, address of the organization of the headquarters porters and um, the credentials uh, can be sometimes different now terms of payment here you can see it provides some example which can be put uh, in the bottom of your invoice when you want to supply some information like how long invoices are due let's say 30 business days and service charge of one percent to be more realistic and yeah invoice all amounts are in, in united states dollars is fine to me now the accounting emails is something that you can use to automatically send the account into your uh, email so if i have um this website boxfactory.com i would probably use accounts at boxfactory.com it's it can be a left blank here and there is also the section below which allows us set up three different transfer types ach domestic wire and international wire. For the purposes of uh, this video, we will take the most complicated one, the international wire, um, but you can have all three of them. And when you generate the invoice, you can select either uh, you wish to proceed with. So here I'll um, pick the real Swift, otherwise it won't validate me. I have utilized its random IBAN generators. Hopefully system will validate us. Um, the business name going to be Bugs Factory Inc. Uh, the purpose of payment um, software development services and the billing address should be let's try United States. The same address as we have for credentials above. Bank Street. This is a little bit of tedious process, but we need to make sure all is fine here. So saving this, saving that, all good. Now let's retry, go back to finance, select new invoice. And finally, we've got select milestone to generate the invoice. Now let's select October and select our landing page and hit generate. Now we are um, finally got to the page of clarifying our invoice. Since we have just one transfer time, it doesn't let us select other options. So we have it here. And there is email recipients who can receive this email um, with the invoice automatically. So I'll just put our uh, dear client here. Now you can change issue date and due date, um, send some e message. Hello, please find invoice attached. And 
there is also the full breakdown of all the items we had back in this milestone quote and we can add extra e expense as well like marketing software let's pull it here just some different case scenario and the actual budget is highlighted here just to have another point that it's different from what system calculated based on the rates of your team once all is good i click save and i ended up having a draft here with my message uh, hovering on this icon uh, and all of the information that we've seen on the invoice generation page from this point we can publish invoice we can review it which is always recommended so i click download button here to see how it looks like let's open it it takes some time okay here we go so um as you can see uh the work layer retained our organization branding like logo company organization name it generated the invoice number put some custom name we had here and all the information we've seen when we generated uh, the invoice as you can see we don't have phone email and website it will be pulled off uh, to, to place here and there is also a little bit peculiar stuff, right? This is total just on the separate page, but it, it's totally fine because uh, it's automatically generated and it's still qualified the, for, uh, for the invoice. And these terms of payment, we've put about 30 business days and 1% um, fee if paid late. So it works perfectly fine. And at this point we are done. So what we can do, we can publish the invoice and then uh, the collaborator, or sorry, the client who is invited as a collaborator to our project will see this in their finances bills tab. So it makes sure I've seen everything before sending it because at this point um, the client will see the invoice as well. Now, what I can do at this uh, stage, I can either decline invoice or delete it if I feel that I made a mistake, even though keep in mind that email uh, must might be already sent. Or I can mark, mark it as paid uh, if client is not bother and I know that money landed on my account. So if I click it, system automatically updates the paid column and I can see it here. So from the client side, uh, I'll mark it as unpaid and show it how it looks like there. Right now it's declined. I have successfully logged into the clients page and I'm gonna go to the um, finances tab over here and see that our invoice is um, exactly presented. Now I can actually publish it myself. No, I can't. So it has to be published by the company. But the point here is that as a receiving party, I can see it under the bills tab, the only tab we have right now for the clients. And I can also download the invoice and mark it as paid as soon as it's not declined. So as you can see, uh, the process of generation invoice is very easy and straightforward. It's connected to the milestone inside the work layer and takes all of the information from it with the ability for you to customize it as you wish. Uh, the only tedious process is putting the organization setting details, but this is just a one-time operation and it shouldn't bother you in the long run. So I hope you enjoy this video, this amazing feature. And if you like the video, please like it, subscribe, and I see you in the next episodes.